My name is Brother Stephen Aguino. Hey, I'm Brother Travis Gunther. I'm from the Bronx, New York. I'm in my second year of the post novitiate, and I'm a student at Seton Hall University. I'm originally from Conway, Arkansas. I'm currently a, a cogitor brother, and this is my third year of um, post novitiate, and I'm studying at Montclair State. I'm a senior this year. My vocation story definitely starts in the home with the family. I have my mom, my dad, Rose and Ubaldo, and my oldest brother, Mike my sister Christine and my young brother Matt. My family has been running a, a charismatic prayer group in the Bronx for about 30 years now. Being with all the different brothers and, and, and um, seminarians throughout the years, and just seeing them, how they mature and grow. The nice thing about the Salesian charism and the brothers is that they come from so many different varied backgrounds and it's so diverse that they're, it just makes it such a nice family. My journey with the Salesians and, and getting to know them starts really with my family. My dad has been a firefighter for 37 years now. My mom was an accountant, worked in schools, and, and then I have a younger brother. Family has always been very important to me. I first got involved with the youth group by my CCD class. My mom signed me up. I really didn't want to go, and I met Brother Travis through that process, and he invited me to the youth group. My heart feels very full because you are here, you are doing good things, you are happy, you are honoring God with your choices right now. You're being your best self. You know, you're joyful. You're in the moment, you're enjoying it. And I'm sure many of you kind of feel like, wow, this joy is something I always want to have. And this joy is born of a relationship with God. You know, this joy comes from wanting to be holy, wanting to be a saint like Brother Steve was talking about. Being holy is loving other people for who they are, loving them enough to challenge them to be the best selves, and loving yourself. God did not create junk. God did not make mistakes. And realizing your worth and your value and your beauty. And the vocation that God calls you to, the vocation of holiness, and trying to be the best version of yourself, that is what gives you the joy that makes you a saint. That's what makes us Salesian. Salesian for life. as someone who's called to be a saint. Like within my vocation, it's very clear for me that God's asking me to give my all, not just a little bit, but everything. For me, I'm learning plays out into my studies right now. My studies at Montclair State align in some unique ways with our, our Salesian approach to serving young people. We've got all kinds of activities and, and opportunities. The thing I love as a priest is that I'm able to kind of engage on a number of levels with them in various ways. I think the sports end, the coaching end, the teaching end, the mission service end, the faith end, it all comes together here in a way that I think is special for them and certainly special for me as a priest and as a Salesian. My own vocation story, um, I came to the Salesian 15 years ago. I come from what I say is the sixth borough of New York, which is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I trained as a physical therapist. Um, I started out school wanting to become an accountant lawyer and follow my father. But I decided not to do that, move into healthcare. And it was really in that experience of working with the sick and the suffering that I began to open my eyes a little bit more, where God opened them to a calling deep within. And so I struggled a bit with it. I was engaged in college, and then I was thinking about married life. That was a vocation for me. But God slowly led me piece by piece, step by step, toward a vocation in the, in the Salesian life. And so I felt that call as a priest, ultimately to do one thing. I, I see the Sermon on the Mount being the most important. I feel like my job as a priest in the Salesian is to take the hand of God and the hand of the penitent and bring them together. And so the peace I found, I want to try to bring to, to the young, particularly those who are or poor, abandoned, and really in need of God's grace, just as I am. My older brother Mike, when he went to high school, he went to Salesian High in New Rochelle, New York, and that's where we really met the Salesians, and it was a place where he was able to develop as a young man and develop really in his faith and leadership to be in a, in a loving uh, environment as, as a school setting. Because the Salesians, they, they really take care of all the people who come through their door. You know, they, they once said that you could invite a film crew in here to tape us and you could put it on as like real real world, road rules, Jersey Shore, one of those things. 
you would always find something to talk about over here. So I have two classes today. I have um, preaching, and I also have uh, liturgy and sacraments. Lord, whose love and humble service for the My brother Mike, straight out of high school, he entered the Salesians, and he's still a Salesian today, and he's getting ordained in June, God willing, and he's a deacon right now, and he's studying at uh, ICS at Seton Hall Immaculate Conception. So being young and going to visit him in the Formation House, everybody would say to me, hey Steve, when are you going to come join us? And I would be like, never, because I like girls. So it was really interesting, because they, they were just they kind of knew, they felt like the Salesians were a good fit for me. And whenever I was there, I was always welcomed. I, was, I always felt like I was a part of something bigger than, than myself and, you know, my, my little community and what I knew. They made me feel welcome straight from the beginning. I was asked a few times before going. I was reluctant at first, but something inside me told me to go. And I went there the first day and they were just so engaging. And it was the week before Don Bosco Day, and they chose me to play Don Bosco in their skit for Don Bosco Day, which I was just in awe of because they just accepted me straight from day one. I felt so welcomed and engaged that they gave me this responsibility. And it was just this engagedness, being welcomed into the Salesian family that kept me going till this day. I was helping with the kid, and after I was done, one of the Salesian brothers came up to me and said, hey Dakota, You'll make a great solution one day. And then another one came right behind him. He's like, no, you're a great solution now. And that was when I really felt that I am a solution. The mission for our youth group at Our Lady of the Valley is really serving high school students and building a community with them of support, but then again, reaching out in mission to help them grow in their relationship with Christ and then also to prepare them for life, to have them not just ready for college, but how to build healthy relationships how to make healthy decisions just in general. That's, that's our goal. We're finding that several of our former youth group members are now freshmen in college and they're coming back and so we're welcoming them and trying to help them become young leaders. The Salesian brothers and priests here are very friendly, but they also make sure to get involved with the students. And sometimes even some priests here, they stay in contact uh, far after uh, they graduate. So you have uh, students come back from college and. Uh, they come back even after college. But I know for sure, like some of the priests here, they go out on the blacktop and they start playing handball with the students. They'll even play basketball. And heck, we went paintballing and they came with us too. So um, yeah, they're, they're kind of everywhere, just like a, a friend would be. When you come in as a freshman, you're set up with a senior um, and they become your big brother. And it's interesting to see uh, the connection that you can make over the year. It's really cool because at the end of the year when they graduate, you almost get a sense of pride. But throughout, throughout the year, there's always opportunities um, to get closer and, and again, like I said, really come to understand and, and feel that, that sense of home. On that day, we watched the Don Bosco movie. And one of the, the main scenes that stood out to me was when Don Bosco went to the prison where all the kids were held at. And he really wanted to take him out for an outing. And the one condition was that he had to come back with all the kids or else he would have to take their place. And I think that's a very strong and brave thing that he did. It's very important and inspires me to do better and yeah, help others. Salesian brothers and priests model the charism of St. John Bosco in a father in the way that they lead you. They lead you in no matter what it is. They lead you in your faith. They could also lead you in everyday situations. They always let to guide you in the right direction. Salesian priests and brothers also model the charism of St. John Bosco as a teacher. In the literal sense, they teach you the gospel and they teach you how to live. So they're great role models and they always are acting in the greatest way that they possibly can. And as a friend, they're always modeling St. John Bosco because you're always able to talk to them no matter what it is. You can talk to them about school, about any problems that you're having at home. And again, like a father, they're gonna lead you within any situation that you have. Being a Salesian in a class with other students at Seton Hall is really interesting. It's really fun. Everybody kind of has their ideas of what a seminarian is like or somebody who wants to be a priest. And being around normal students, they say, wow, these are normal guys. They like the same music I like. They watch sports, they hang out, they have fun. 
and uh, it's a cool way to kind of evangelize also and to share the, the charism of Don Bosco and it's a good way to connect with, with other students who are trying to get to know their faith a little bit more and uh, but see what's out there in the church for them because sometimes they feel disconnected and they don't feel like there's a, there's a way for them to connect unless they're really young or really old and it's really cool uh, to have the opportunity to be in the classroom or where it can, it can kind of bridge that gap for our classmates and, and connect with them. So that's a, a great advantage to being at Seton Hall um, and developing relationships because they can say, hey, I knew this guy and he's, he's studying for the priesthood or he's, he's a brother with the Salesians. And, uh, you know, it, it helps them kind of defend the faith a little bit more and not be too quick to say, oh yeah, everybody studying for the priesthood is boring. But they see that we are people who are relatable, we're people who are charismatic, who like to have fun, we're outgoing. Don Bosco always talked about being joyful and um, optimistic. And so we try to bring that everywhere we go, whether in a class, outside of the class, having lunch, wherever we are, we always are with each other. We're together in community and it's, it's a good time when we're together. After my senior year of high school, I was invited to go work at summer camp down in Bell Glade, Florida with the Salesians. It was fun to be with the kids, like just the excitement of being there every morning and the way that each of them related to the young people in a different way, whether it was telling jokes or playing guitar. Uh, but what really helped me understand that the Salesians we gather as family uh, was I had a family crisis that summer. These men that I had only known for, let's say, three weeks at this time came to support me, and not in major ways, but in very significant small ways, whether offering to pray with me that night, um, so we prayed the rosary together, or they would just check in with me, how are you doing, how's your family doing? Nine years later, they still come and ask, you know, how's everybody going, doing? And so that family spirit really caught me. So when it was time for me to go to high school, I, I knew automatically I wanted to go to uh, Salesian. And when I was there, I made so many friends and uh, I got to, share my gifts of music. I, I was in the band, I was in student council. I was really involved, especially with sports. I played basketball and volleyball and golf. And I connected and made relationships with, with the teachers and the Salesian priests and brothers and the young guys in practical training that made a lasting impression on me. Uh, whether they be teachers or coaches or uh, in the administrative offices or uh, moderating a club, uh, they're always around and they're always accessible. They're easy to talk to, uh, they're willing to listen. It definitely began as a student at, at Don Bosco. That presence of the Salesians, the priests, the brothers, always willing to listen, always willing to have a conversation, whether it was something serious or talking about the football game over the weekend or seeing how I was, I was doing in wrestling. Uh, for my studies, it's been helping me to work with young people because we kind of learned the theoretical knowledge and concepts of philosophy and theology. But at the same time, while being young, we can break that down into a way that's uh, understood by younger people. Hey, how's it going? Ah, go in there. Make sure you drink plenty of water, all right? I don't want you to shrivel up and die. And also by being in the class with uh, regular students, you know, they're, they're in the world a little bit more than we are, so they talk about, you know, what the trends are, what movies are out, the, the music, the new songs, and all the kids we work with are aware of what's going on. So we're able to kind of get that, get the scoop on what's going on and be prepared to talk about it with the kids who want to ask questions. Steve, um, I'm here at one of our Salesian schools, Salesian High School in New Rochelle, New York. Um, I'm teaching as part of a practical training all the Salesians go for a two-year practical training, um, and so for two years I'll be teaching at a high school. And everything, like we have to, we have to learn how to be saints out there. And so everybody, all that music that you hear, everybody is searching for God, right? Whether they know it or not, everybody is searching for God. I've never and been so happy. I've been here for five years now, and and just, direction. just a beautiful thing to be part of this, and and the lively and the joyfulness of of the Salesian vocation is is something that keeps me going every day and, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing for me.
Yeah, times are tough. Gotta get it up, no matter how rough. Stay ain't nothing but a sinner who never gave up. I'ma never give up. I, I can, you can, we can. Everybody rise up, eyes up. Knocking at your door, knocking at your door, knocking at your door. Cause I wanna be more. Lord, let me in, cause I wanna give it all. Get my life so I put on Christ. Peter, Paul, John, James, free from my gains and I'm on those chains. Following Christ with all that I got. Spirit filled when I run this race. Rise up with them saints until I see him face to face. One, two, three. I wanna be a set. I wanna be a set. I wanna be a set. We wanna be a set. I wanna be a set. You wanna be a set. We wanna be a set. I wanna be a set. Who said you can't? Who said you can't be a So I remember it being a long day, and this one kid during during the during the day was causing trouble, and you know he just wanted to have fun and run around, and and so um, I decided just to be here, be there, you know, with him, and you know, stay close to him. He was asking me why was I willing to be so nice to him, was being willing to be a friend to him, um, and so that really struck me, and it filled me with with passion. As I prepare myself to take my first vows as a Salesian, I'm excited to be a Salesian. What excites me is that I get to be like Don Bosco, who inspired me to be a, a to be present to the young, to give myself to the young people, and to walk with them, to accompany them in life, you know, walking with them in the journey. And so I'm really excited to be Don Bosco for the young people. And so that's that's what excites me about making my first vows. What was among them? Oh, yeah. Why you are the employer of the one? I said, I don't know. He said, maybe you don't know, but you are something and you're very special. You're very nice with everybody. I said, maybe I have my vocation to be a voice. She said, that's why. Maybe that is one motivation to do that. So as I went through high school, I didn't, I didn't think much about the, you know, wanting to be a priest or anything like that. And I went on a retreat. I went on the, uh, the MLR, the March Leadership Retreat, my junior year of high school. And uh, I think that year is when my faith really became alive. It was the first time like I, I really experienced the, the power and the sacraments of reconciliation in the Eucharist. And I went to confession and I just, I laid out everything and I wasn't embarrassed. I, I told the priest everything from like A to Z. And I just felt such love and peace and realized that, you know, these sacraments are for us to really give ourselves so that Jesus can give himself back to us. But when we really empty ourselves out and say, God, I have nothing left but for you to, to fill. It's such a, such a grace and such a blessing to, to feel that and to know that. There was Mass at our school in the chapel and I was one of 12 students uh, selected to have our feet washed by our director, Father Jim Huser. And we were seated off to the right hand side, the 12 of us, and the Salesians were all seated in the front on the left hand side. But uh, before they walked in, every single one of them, they, would, they came over to us, uh, every single one of us shook our hand told us a joke or something, just asking how we were doing and uh, just making sure we were okay and that everything was going well. Um, and that really, that really impacted me because, you know, they took pride in putting a smile on our face and just us being there uh, really put a smile on their face. So that's always uh, something that I'll, that I'll always remember. What inspires me as a Salesian has been the gift of some of the older Salesian confrere really in the way that they accompanied us. Like Father Pat Diver is one that stands out very strongly. When I was a candidate uh, in the pre novitiate year, um, Father Pat was, was fi dealing with cancer at the time and it was kind of with our community in recovery. But every day he would be in the living room watching TV. And, and at first I didn't think anything of it, but every time you'd walk by, Father Pat would ask, you know, how you doing? How's your day going? And, you know, just just that little word, see how you're doing. Um, and then that was that was it in general. Sometimes we'd all 
we'd either eat lunch with him there in the living room or, you know, just have a conversation. And later on during the year, Father Pat kind of reflected uh, with me and he said, you know why I do that, right? I was like, no. I thought you just like Family Feud and, you know, other TV shows. He's like, no, 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 no. Because if I'm there and I'm watching TV, it's not like you have to talk to me, but I want to be there to welcome you home so that you, you feel like you're welcomed home. I was like, wow. It just, for him to be battling cancer and still to be concerned about us um, and how we were doing is something that sticks with me. Everybody, no matter what in our lives, everybody's looking for greatness and everybody wants to be great. Nobody wants to be mediocre and feel like, oh, yeah, well, I'm doing it just because I'm okay. But I, I really feel that we're all called to greatness in whatever way it is, whether you're married or a priest or single or a teacher or whatever it is. But for me, I feel that God is calling me to be great as a Salesian. And that's something that I look forward to every day and say, God, where can I seek you? How can I serve you? And with the Salesians right now, I've had so many wonderful opportunities to, to share my faith and to grow and to seek God and to serve God for people, with people. And every day there's, there's blessings and every day there's challenges. But I know at the end of the day, God is there with me walking in the journey. But most importantly, I'm there with a community of, of guys and we're all in the same boat. We're all, you know, having, we have the same questions, we have the same desires. And with the Salesians, we're able to walk together right now in formation and discover where, where God is calling us and how we can be great.